Oh, hey, we got Bulletproof on the line. Let's Uh-oh. bring him on real quick. We need a Mitchell update. Mitchell. What up, What's up, man? Give us an update. What happened with your car? People are dying to know. What? What do they want to know? What happened? You got it back, right? Yeah, my uh, my mechanic, Robert Ballard, found it in Elk Grove when he went to go get milk at the store. What? And it was just sitting in the parking lot of the Bel Air parking lot. And he tried to start it, but it was out of gas. And then the guy that stole it came back for it, and he had like a bit of an altercation. And I was on the phone with him, and he's like, "Hang up and call the cops." It was it was sketchy. It got crazy. But then I went down there, put some gas in it. Cops watched it for a random guy off. We were, Robert ran him off, and we were searching the neighborhood. It was just a crazy night. And then I drove it home, and it's all good. I got it back. Did they catch a the guy? Scooter. Uh, no, we didn't catch the guy because he was super dodgy and Robert didn't, like, it was just too much, man. And I don't know if I wanted to catch him, really, because yeah. who knows. Yeah. He could have gone crazy or something, I don't know. So the scooter was in it? it? The scooter was in it, still MIA, dude, so we're looking for that, but, Fuck. you know, that's kind of tough. There's not, it doesn't have, like, a license plate and a VIN number, so I'm going to, my new one's, I'm going to etch something in, put some radio chips in there, something because <laughs> this is this will not stand man <laughs> hello you're on there who's this hello uh, it's gandalf oh gandalf. oh what's up gandalf all right hold on i'm telling the story team, gandalf team alpha male team edward cohen gandalf <laughs> <laughs> team edward <laughs> hey gandalf hold up a second hold on one second we'll get right yeah. back to you just hang on because i'm telling the story and then okay all right, all right. exactly what's up gandalf what's up uh you want to uh, win some gloves? Have a question about mumbles? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a question about mumbles? Yeah, yeah. So uh, mumble trivia. All right, we'll go with that. You're yeah. gonna ask ask me that? Good shit. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. And this is for the torque gloves. Yeah. Do Do we want to allow this? It's up to you guys. What do you think? We'll let Cody make the decision. What's he want to do? He's going to ask a trivia question about a popular caller or, oh, or Mumbles, a controversial yeah. caller. Yeah, I remember I was in when Mumble was called. We gave him the name. Okay. Yeah. And he wants to ask a trivia question about him. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. All what right. Let's, what, did, what did Gandalf win last time? Gandalf, did you win something last time? No, man. No. Gandalf is a pretty good caller. He's broke some good. All right. He broke the one. uh, He broke that one um, news story about how they reported that the Jose Aldo thing, and then he, what's that? He was greasing. He was greasing. Yeah. He talked about giving that guy a hand job. That story was pretty entertaining. (laughs) Yes. Hey, so yeah, the gloves are up. And maybe he talked about when he like made out with his sister the one time and stuff too. Oh yeah. When they had that kid. Virginia. No, he's from Montreal. He's oh, from he's yeah. from Atlanta. No, Toronto. Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Oh. <laughs> he's from... Hey, the gloves are on the line. Ask your question. All right. Uh, okay, so who who uh, who was the first person to call Mumbles Mumbles? Cody No Love. No, like the first person, like who who gave him that nickname Mumbles? Cody No Love did. No, Mumbles gave it himself. He called himself Mumbles. No. That one sucks. Yes. No. Yes. It was Mumbles. I watched and the episode, it was like, MOB, Money Over Bitches. Yeah. Mumbles said, call me Mumbles. No, I know, but we'd already called him Mumbles by that time. Yeah. No, but, uh, you know, fuck it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Give us another one. Give us another question. <laughs> that was weak. Uh, hold on. Let me think of something. All right. Um... You guys want to do like McDonald's trivia? McDonald's? McDonald's trivia? We don't eat that shit. We'll no, ask. No. We'll see if it's approved. We'll ask the question. Ask we'll the question. All right. So, uh, in which country has the the Black Halloween burger? Oh, it's all black. Uh, I Japan. saw Japan. Japan, right? Japan. Yeah. Favorite ate one. Fuck you guys. Boom. <laughs> 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 all right. You got any other ones? <laughs> You got yeah, any other so brain I have a busters? For, uh, Justin Buckles? Huh? I have a question for Justin. Yeah, go ahead. I remember you uh, talking like a few weeks ago about how you guys made uh, Vinny the Mush uh, <laughs> for a high kick because he wasn't able to. You guys like helped him stretch out his legs? No, that wasn't the Mush. That was, was that Cody No Love. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Yeah, I just yeah. wonder what you guys did because I've been doing I'm MMA, but I can't throw high kicks at all. Like I've been Stretch. stretching for like day and night. Have you? Yeah, Have you really been, been like, stretching for the last? Yeah, I've been stretching for the past. Two Get weeks. one of those Chuck Norris stretch machines for real. Oh, hey, okay. uh, Gandalf, I'll tell you what to do. On YouTube, type in Bill Superfoot Wall is stretching for athletes, and it's like an hour routine. It's like 59-minute routine, but the first 30 minutes are like stretches for that you can do on your own. And uh, Bill Superfoot is an undefeated uh, karate, full-contact karate champion. He had his uh, right leg like messed up. He, had, he has like no ACL, so he would stand in a complete sideways stance and only throw his left leg, but he's probably the most flexible guy ever. And he has a whole routine, a 30-minute stretch routine on your own that you could do every day. And then he has partner stretches okay. to do once a week. All right, I found it. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Hey, if you do that, you will get flexibility in no time. It'll take about six weeks to two months. You're going to see huge improvement. Oh, yeah. Foxcatcher. <laughs> You're in Foxcatcher? Yeah. Well, where are you? Are? How are you in it? I was. This is kind of Did you funny. see Foxcatcher? I watched Foxcatcher. All right. I was cheating on Tatum's corner, man. I walked him down in the cage, but I also had a line in the movie, but I fucked it up. All right, he was he was um, Mark Schultz, you know, going for his UFC fight. That's where it was at, and they did it at Pittsburgh, in Pittsburgh. And uh, he's sitting there, like, his little shorts on, and, like, they are like, had to go up. The director, like, just caught me on spot. I was like, hey, like, we go up to him and say... How were you there? Um, they just, uh, they asked a bunch of the fighters from the Fight Club Pittsburgh to go okay. in there. So he went to, um, to do it. And uh, yeah, so, Sipe Miokic walked in. They had yeah, they just Sipe said stand in the back. Just you guy, walked in. Yeah, just guy was punching girls' ears out and just blowing them up. You walked in and they, they saw your eyebrows were like, dude, oh, yeah. give him a line. They love it. So I walked up to him. His name is Mark in the in the movie, obviously. <laughs> and he's sitting there like this, getting ready for his fight. And I was just supposed to go up to him saying, "Hey, Mark, you're up." I walked up there and shit, I was nervous, man. You know what I mean? All you're like, "Hey, Mark, you're down." No, I said, I said. <laughs> I was like thinking Magic Mike. I was like, hey, Mike, you're up. And the director's like, cut, his name's Mark. <laughs> I'm like, Mark. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go just be an extra over here. <laughs> Sit on the couch. Did they make you redo it? Fuck no. They're like, go on and <laughs> done. One shot. They just one cut the line out of that. Sh- this kid. <laughs>